so alexa scott is currently going through it in regards to her motherhood being questioned left and right and right and left but let's rewind a little bit a couple of days before her baby left nicu she was being petty under a post of masika on the blogs you know nothing new to these two wopsters they've been doing this to each other for years so masika who's known to be the clapback queen clapped back and said the following coming from a snail shape like an ant y'all tell my biggest fan aka the pregnancy plot dot to stop obsessing over me i'm convinced you want to eat it from the front to the back like damn you pay me more attention than that poor baby you trapped a nigga that wanted a baby with everyone but you and now you're stuck with a revenge baby with no daddy that you don't want and you're still using me to get attention as a mother who actually loves her child let me give you some advice get off the shade room and go to the hospital room spend at least one night there instead of in hotel surrounded by pills high as a kite talking about me and my healthy child your kid needs skin to skin free breast milk bedtime stories and the constant attention you so desperately seek the nurses are there to monitor her vitals you are supposed to be there to nurture her since you got it confused now scrub the club off of you and wobble on over to the nicu keep this same energy when i touch down in atlanta don't run from me like you did at pins Ooh. and here's the video she was referring to Okay. Cause that's the that's the real drug addict. That's so, that is that is. <laughs> they so tried to say bad. I was a drug addict, but bitch swallowed. That is so bad. Like, oh my god, how? Wait. Where did you get the bottle from? How did you open the bottle? How did it fall down your throat? That's what Wait, I'm saying. Wait. Do you remember the reunion when I said this? Oh, bitch, you know what? You Come know. Dear. You already know who that was trying to. You know. Like, like honey. Yeah. We can call child services on you. Take a Xanax. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because that's the, that's the real drug addict. That's so, that is, that is. They try so to say I was a drug addict, but bitch swallowed That me. is so bad. Like, oh my God, how? Wait. Where did you get the bottle from? How did you open the bottle? How did it fall down your throat? That's what Wait, I'm saying. Do you remember the reunion when I said this? Oh, no, bitch, you know my. You and if you're lost, Alexis and Zell was talking about Masika and her child. So fast forward days later, her child comes home and almost immediately afterwards, she's back to the Alexis sky that we all know. Taking trips, partying, having fun, and being booked and busy. So damn near everybody started dragging her, calling her all types of bad moms, which is why she turned her comments off long ago. And she's usually pretty strong when it comes to people coming for her. But this time, not so much. She deleted all posts of her baby off her page, her avatar, and posted the following messages. Leave me alone, everyone. Since all people want to do is clout chase off my name, lie, talk about me all day, talk about how I'm a bad mom. Y'all really want me dead and gone, so maybe that needs to happen. Why am I here? Wow. Look, we want to send some positivity her way. Alexis girl don't fold keep on being strong girl like you've been doing but yeah the combination of thousands of thousands of people coming for her and her comments all over social media has her having a mental breakdown for real but seriously what these wopsters need to stop doing is stop talking negatively about each other's children last time I checked they might be sisters and especially when Fetty is with neither one of them I don't understand like I don't know but what do y'all think about the situation? Leave your thoughts below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more. Like and follow us at facebook.com slash Blog, And don't forget to hit that bell to join the notification gang. Petsyblog.com signing off.